Hey guys, so um, got this thing going again here. Um, I'm seeing a lot of comments. People are thinking that this is really thin, which I designed it to look that way. I want it to look like this bearing is just kind of barely focus, kind of barely floating in there. And it, I think it does a pretty good job of that because I'm getting a lot of people think, think, thinking that there's not much material, but you can see on the back side where it hasn't been chamfered, it's pretty thick. It's a decent amount of material. It's I didn't mic it out. I don't remember how thick it was exactly, but uh, it's several, I don't know, it's probably tenth of an inch. Anyway, it's plenty of material. It's, 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 there's no way it's going to break. Um, anyway, um, just figured it's, it's, you know, at worst, if you drop it, it's going to get dinged up, but that's true of any spinner. But I uh, just figured we might as well demonstrate that. One disclaimer here, um, this bearing, um, I machined it to have an interference fit, but this is a cheap bearing. Um, it, it was supposed to have five tenths, sorry, five ten thousandths interference, which uh, would have been a pretty tight fit in there. Probably wouldn't have needed any um, kind of glue or anything. But um, this cheaper bearing ended up being a little bit undersized, and so what I ended up using was some um, sleeve adhesive. It's uh, what is that? Loctite. I think it's six twenty. It's made specifically for this application of fitting a um, a sleeve, uh, uh, specifically for bearings and 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 that type of thing. So um, it's supposed to have 24 hours to cure. It's only had a couple hours, so I don't know how well it'll hold up. So I'm gonna throw this around a little bit, give it a pretty serious drop or two. Uh, my guess is the body will hold up just fine. Besides, obviously, getting some scuffs and stuff from hitting the concrete. Um, but we may lose the bearing as well. Um, and you can see here, I'm missing a few balls from this as well. I took the cage off um, just to kind of play around with it and ended up uh, having it come completely apart on me because I forgot to put the cage back on before I started spinning it again. And who knows where the other three or four, what is it, three balls, I guess, that are missing. I'm sure they're around, but since I'm replacing this bearing anyway, I don't really care. Anyway, let's uh, let's start throwing this thing. Get a good spin going, if I can. There we go. And dropped it. Let's see. I'm sure it might have a little mark on it where it hit. Actually, not seeing anything. Held up fine. The bearing actually is still in there, pretty good and tight too. There's no movement. Oh, there we go. Come on, focus. All right, never mind. There's there is a little bit of a ding on the corner there. Um but yeah, we just threw it on the concrete. So, what do you expect? So, let's do that again. Just fine. Like I said, there is a little another of a mar where it hit, but the body's fine, bearing's fine. Um, kind of about what you'd expect from abusing it. Let's spin it, drop it outside. See if the bearing moved at all. And it did. Let's see, it kind of shifted outwards, so. Actually, that adhesive is actually built up enough material on the bearing itself that it's a fairly tight fit but as we just saw if you drop it uh, the bearing is moving around because like I said it was it was supposed to have had 24 hours to set up but yeah you can see that little ding on the edge where it hit no big deal like I said aluminum will do that brass will do that steel probably wouldn't do that um, at least not as bad but even steel will get scuffed up if you throw it on the ground so I don't recommend dropping it if you can help it or throwing it on the ground but even if it gets dropped I mean those would clean up with a just a file or a scotch bright pretty easily no problem but in terms of structural integrity yeah this thing ain't 
ain't gonna come apart on you. Thanks for watching.